What's up folks? I'm gonna show you how I fillet speckled trout. Simple, quick, easy. Start with my fish, got a seven and a half inch flexible knife here. I like to just run my cuts down the back of the fin and the top of the head, like so. And then, typically I will bleed out the fish, pull its gills, get the blood out of there before this process, but uh, didn't do that today. Take my knife, run it through the cavity where the guts are, out to the anal fin. And then just cut right in there. Come to the other side, do the same thing. And then finish my cut on the back of the head, like so. Then you could just pull the head with the guts away from the cavity. Now you've got a clean and whole fish. See, when you don't bleed them out, you get these blood lines in here, which can make it uh, stronger taste-wise. So I like to cut along. I'll take the back end of this. It's got a serrated edge here. Cut along the rib cage, the backbone, just to break that up. So that when I spray it, clean it, the blood comes out. Like so. All right. And then I just start flaying down the back. Doesn't matter what side you come in on, just want to. Take that knife, run it along the backbone, keeping that blade flexed along that line. There's one fillet. Left a little meat there. Oh well. Same thing. There's a fillet. There's the backbone skeleton of the fish. So then we got our fillets here. One thing I like to do, you know, not everybody likes bones in their fish. If you're sharing uh, this with people, then I like to get the bones out of the rib cage here. So I just slice at an angle along that rib cage, get that bone. There's not much meat there anyway, so you're not losing a whole lot. There we go. Looks like I left a little fin on there. Pull that off. And then you can actually scale the fish, at least speckled trout, with your knife blade. I'll just hold the tail here. Just go along it like this. And you see those scales just come off. When it comes to cooking fish like this, I love to grill them. And having the skin on there makes it easier to cook and move on the grill top because fish can be so brittle once it cooks and, or flaky as some people will say flaky brittle whatever and uh, it can fall through the grill top and uh, <laughs> your fish just starts to fall apart losing your meat so there you go all the scales are off of it and then I just trim some of this little excess stuff that you know there's nothing really on there might check at the top of the fillet see if there's any bones there and then just spray it off and there you have it speckled trout ready to eat all right i want to do it one more time I'll show you here We've got this rib cage with the bones in it we're just going to run it at an angle Get that out of there. Hold the back end. Use our knife to fillet it. Not fillet, but scale it. There you go. And then trim any 
little excess pieces don't necessarily need checking for some bones the end of the tail there's not much there so we're just going to spray it off and there you go nice speckled trout you can do that with about any fish honestly especially the small ones all right till next time fish on